We all know Bethesda as the company behind Fallout and The Elder Scrolls. Most of us have forgiven them for some of their worst games ever, like the online shooter Blink and the action game Rogue Warrior. Now, for the first time ever, Bethesda has done an actual press conference the evening before E3 in Hollywood, California. The game publisher already announced Fallout 4 two weeks ago, so what else do they have up their sleeves? Time to drop some bombs. You get it, bombs. As in nukes? Because of the nuke that they dropped before the story of Fallout? What's up guys, I'm Tamju here. I'm Robert. And we just got out of the Dolby Theatre for the first ever Bethesda press conference at E3. Ah, ah. A, new, a new drop, right? A new drop. A new drop. I was right that they were uh, they were uh, announcing a new game, but it was neither of the uh, of what we were talking about earlier. No, no Prey 2. No, no Prey 2, 2, but no Elder Scrolls uh, 6 either. In instead, you got instead we got Fallout Shelter, which <laughs> is available tonight, right now on the App Store, which is we'll talk about that later. Yeah, first the conference, the first ever conference, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome indeed. I mean, they kicked off with Doom and. I'm a big fan of old school Doom and I was really blown away. The gore was awesome, the action was fast paced, they showed several weapons, I love the shoddy they, and they finished the, the whole gameplay stuff with the BFG, they, he picked it up and he mm -hmm. wanted to shoot the demon and then boom, title yeah, screen. Yeah, the entire Doom presentation was all fan service, exactly yeah. what a Doom fan loves. What I remember from Doom 3 was that it was very, you know, Slowish and very into jump scares, kind of like Fear. Uh, the game. It was, it was. But Doom, this, this just showed exactly what Doom was uh, yeah. if, for players. If you like, if you were a kid from the 80s or early 90s and you played, no, the early 90s it won't work. But if you were a kid from the early 80s and you played Doom 1 or Doom 2, and you used to play it over the over the home network or something like that, or maybe one versus one online, then seriously, this Doom will blow your freaking mind. I mean, the action is, it was really, it was awesome. This is such a game for me. This, this is such exactly a game for me. And the Doom feeling that you needed to feel, right? Yeah, and the thing I'm also excited about is how easy it is to make a map. Because yeah. as an old school map maker, it was kind of hardcore to make a map. You know, you needed to place the sprites right along the, the walls. It was really difficult. And with the new map editor, it's even possible on Xbox One and PS4. That's the best part of it. All the games they announced were all for yep. the current generation, so PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Uh, Dishonored. Dishonored was also uh, shown. Yeah. Dishonored 2, which showed that there was going to be uh, a new playable character. Uh, you can still play as Corvo, but also as a new female character. That was uh, pretty interesting. The gameplay they showed was, yeah, it, it looked really good. Uh, it takes place later after the first game, yeah. and what they're going to all what they also mentioned was a remastered edition, the de definitive edition of Dishonored for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So, if you're still late to get into the Dishonored series, yeah. like me, I mean, to be honest, definitive editions they're nice, but come on, just you know, bring the new games. Of I mean, course, it's of course. Let's call it fan service. All right. So, what else did they show? They showed Battle Cry. Battle Cry. Okay, next game. <laughs> really sorry. I'm, All right. All it's right. really not not my type of video game. Okay, it's, so it, it looks it looks the, even the graphics they make they make it gory and cartoony, but the, the, the movements aren't smooth. It's a, it, it looks a bit choppy. I don't know what it is. It's it was just, a little bit disappointing, right? Yeah, it was a, a little bit low I mean, point of the presentation. And, yeah, I mean, and the way they show it, in first you have like the smooth HD graphics of Doom and all kinds of cool stuff, and then there's like this cartoony game, and it just looks lame. Yeah, but then they really packed out with Fallout 4, where they actually showed the promised gameplay, and it's so much bigger than I could imagine. They have. Um, they have, of course, uh, updated gameplay, but a very, very deep crafting modifying system. Yeah, let's, let's, let's stop there for a moment, because the crafting system is insane. I mean, what can you craft? You can craft, okay, your own character, mm -hmm. 
uh, double layered armor. Mm -hmm. Weapons have like 700 modifications for each base weapon. So and like not just if the you weapons, have, but the power armor as well. Yeah, the armor has, 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 but and each layer, double layered. And then there is, uh, let's see, base. Oh, you can build your own house. Yes. So basically, there's a uh, uh, a, a tower defense game in the uh, yeah. in the game where you can build. There are several sites in the game where you can build your own house, your own little base, and uh, several of them where you can also send out uh, trade trade cards, trade uh, cards yeah. to ship parts between them. Uh, it's just really broad uh, and. The app. Yeah, yeah. If you're a Fallout fanboy, you need to buy the Fallout Collector's, uh, Collector's edition. edition. Yeah, the Pip Boy edition. Yes, the Pip Boy edition is amazing. It's the gauntlet. It holds. You can put in your iPhone. your iPhone, run the app, and it's exactly as if you were having the Pip Boy on your arm. They said that as long as uh, you're on the same Wi-Fi network as the game, yep. it works directly in sync with the game. So you can control your stats and everything on the app while playing the game. And of course, you don't need the Pip Boy. You can use it on your smartphone or your tablet as well. Fallout 4 is huge. Definitely, definitely. And I'm I'm excited about that game. I'm excited, very excited about Doom, and I'm excited about Fallout. The, yeah. all, all the other games, I mean Dishonored 2, they showed it, still needs to prove itself, mm -hmm. not sure yet. For first presentation, awesome. They didn't quite win E3, No. but they really did show some awesome stuff. So good job on your first presentation ever, Bethesda. We enjoyed it, and we hope you did as well. Yeah. And we'll be going deeper into Doom 4 and Fallout 4, so stay tuned for that. I'm Tamsu. I'm Robert. And now it's your turn.